continuing with uh, manipulating complex numbers. Uh, this is uh, two complex numbers in polar form. So you got z is equal to 4 cis pi by 4 and w is equal to 3 cis 5 pi by 12. And you want to write this a, b and c in again polar form. So this is called a polar form where r is the modulus or the radial distance and this is the argument which is the angle with the positive arm of the x-axis. Okay, so let me write z is given to be 2 cos 2 cis 2 cis pi by 4. So I would like to, okay, let us keep this in radians, it doesn't matter. And w is 3 cis 5 pi by 12. It's good if you learn how to manipulate with radians. Okay, so here you're going to use a simple uh, rule. Okay, so the, I'll write the rule. The, if the rule is like this, if z1 is r1 cis theta 1 and oops uh, let me use a smaller eraser theta 1 and z2 is r2 cis theta 2 they are two distinct complex numbers so then you've got a very neat rule which says that z1 times z2 if you're multiplying complex numbers in polar form, you have to just add the uh, modulus, that is R1 plus R1, sorry, R1 times R2, R1 times R2, cis theta 1 plus theta 2. Okay, you multiply the modulus and you add the argument. And if it is z1 divided by z2, it will be r1 divided by r2. So if you're multiplying, you multiply the argument. And if you're dividing, you divide the argument. And I hope you can complete the formula. This will be theta 1 minus theta 2. This is a very neat formula. This can be proved very easily, but our focus is not this. So if you remember this, it will be very useful when you are simplifying complex numbers. Okay, so let's look at the first question. Uh, you have, uh, let me use a brown color. So we have got Z divided by W. So Z is 2 cis pi by 4 divided by 3 cis, 3 cis 5 pi by 12. So the formula says, you can prove this formula very easily uh, by taking some exam, some uh, value for r1, theta1, r2, and theta2. Okay, so this would be, using this formula, this will be 2 divided by 3, cis, pi by 4, minus 5 pi by 12. So let's use, let's not use a calculator, so let's do without a calculator. So this is 2 thirds. Cis. I want to write this as 12, so I have to multiply by 3. Isn't it? So this is 3 pi by 12 minus 5 pi by 12. 3 pi by 12 minus 5 pi by 12 is minus 2 pi by 12, so this is 2 third cis. This is 2 third cis. Minus 2 pi by 12 is pi by 6 minus pi by Six, which is minus 30 degree or from the positive arm it is plus 330 degree so this is your answer okay so negative means you're going clockwise okay so two thirds cis minus pi by six so this is minus two pi by 12 simplifies two pi by six okay the next is z squared let me use a different color z squared z squared I can write as z times z, z times z. So we know z is, z is 2 cis pi by 4 times 2 cis pi by 4. So using the first rule, z1 times z2, it will multiply the argument, so this is 2 times 2, 
2 times 2, cis pi by 4 plus pi by 4, plus pi by 4, which is 4 cis 2 pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, so let me write 2 pi by 4, which is pi by 2, which is 4 cis pi by 2, which is 90 degree. So for cis pi by 2, if you simplify this, this is nothing. If you want to write, this is 4 cis pi by 2 is nothing but 4i. This is 4i. So uh, let me show you this on a calculator. Okay, I think this will be a good example to show. So I have set my calculator in radians, sorry, degrees. So let me see, it's in degrees. So this just to check, just to show that how useful this formula is. So here, this is same as writing 2 cis pi by 4 is 45. And this is times 2 cis 45. So let's do this in a, without a calculator. So this is, this is same as 2 cos 45 plus 2i sine 45, the whole squared, okay, this will be z squared, so this is 2, this stands for cos 45 plus i sine 45, so you've got a 2 sitting outside, so that is 2 times, 2 times cos 45 plus 2i sine 45 squared, so let's see if the calculator works like that. So let's do it in one go and see whether we're getting 4i, just to confirm. So this is 2 cos 45 plus option complex number 2i sine 45, the whole square. Just see, let's see. Yes, here we go. This is 4i. So this formula does work. Okay, and finally, uh, W times Z. Okay, we got W times Z. So which is, what is W? W is 3 cis 5 pi by 12. So this is 3 cis 5 pi by 12 times 2 cis pi by 4. This is pi by 4. Pi by 4 is 45 because pi is, pi radians is 180 degree. So using that rule, so this is 3 times 2, cis phi pi by 12 plus pi by 4 is 3 pi by 12, which is 6, cis 8 pi by 12. So this can be simplified as 6 cis. This goes and divide both by 4. So this is 2. Uh, you can divide by 4, 4. So 2 pi by 3. So the final answer is 6 cis, 2 pi by 3.